Okay, so um, before we go and uh, configure and install OwnCloud on our NAS for free, um, there's one tool that is very useful, and that's Putty. So go and download Putty um, so that we can SSH straight into our NAS box to run some manual commands. So I just run one of those. It doesn't really matter. Just basically the first one. Just download that. Once you've downloaded that, um, if you run it, and what you should see is this box here. <clears throat> so the reason we had to go and activate this SSH service is so that we could run this putty session to do some manual configuration. So in here, put in the IP address. Again, the one that I've got is just default. Go open and you'll get this um, box here okay so login is user is root uh, the password is the um, the administrator password so I've left it as default for now so it's just NAS for free okay so now that we're in um, we'll browse to so if we go CD mount MNT if you just hit tab it tells you what's available and it's case sensitive so we've got pool one and we want to go to the media the sorry the www file <clears throat> so now that we're in that directive we can see that there is the own cloud um, zip file that we copied across before okay so um, now all we're going to do is extract it basically and it's a pretty simple process. All you do is type in here tar dash x j f own cloud. That's it. So if you run that command, hit enter and just wait a couple of seconds. It's done. If we type directory again we will now see that there's a folder called own cloud so we've extracted uh, that zip file so we could have done that in Windows and copied that folder across as well um, just bring this up over here for people who are used to Windows under www we've now got our own cloud folder <coughs> which we just extracted so that's fine but you can see that it belongs to nobody and it belongs to no group that folder so the first thing we need to do again remember when we said that there belongs to uh, www so type this in uh, mount pool www own yep, cloud and put the hyphen so we we'll change the ownership to uh, user www from the www group um, and we're going to change everything under own cloud so that's done if we type in that again so now we'll see it belongs to that whole folder belongs to user www group www okay so really that is all we need so if we go back into the uh, web server just to remind you that remember that we've got port 80 and that www is our document root therefore actually that's my mistake one other thing we need to do um, in here under here what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse over to oops sorry get rid of that so under there I'm going to make a new directory called temp so look in here directory called temp I'm just going to go back and change the ownership of it again just to check okay so temp now www so um, the reason for that is that so when we upload it 
upload files, the temp files will go straight into that directory and it won't get full. Okay, so now to access own cloud, pretty straightforward. Remember that we've got it's HTTP port 80. Right, so I'm going to go in here, HTTP uh, 192, we got port 250. Remember that it was port 8080. And we do slash and then own cloud. And there we have it, basically, that's own cloud. So, um, so go to the documentation to find out how to secure it properly. And there's this warning because we're not using MySQL and Apache. Because our own cloud, actually, if you click advanced, actually, it'll tell you where your data file is. So it's under own cloud data, which is fine. And own cloud, um, we use SQLite by default because own cloud comes with it. Ah, sorry, NAS for free comes with it. Leave local host, that's fine. Um, and so it says create an admin account. So I'm just going to create one for me. And I'm the admin account. Go finish. So just wait for it to load. And there you go. That's our own own cloud installation running on our NAS for free server. Um, obviously, that you know go through and and that's it. This is your own cloud server um, running on your NAS. Pretty straightforward. And then um, obviously, this is just a basic uh, demonstration to show how to get up running. You, you know, you want to go and secure it and do all that kind of stuff, folder and upload something, just as an example. Um, a couple of pictures of me in, when I was in LA. Upload. And there we have it. So if you click on the picture, that's my noggin, and uh, there. And if we go into pictures, the gallery, um, they're there. So there you have it. Um, that was own cloud. So now you have an own cloud installation on your NAS with Stripe, you know, or RAID redundancy how have you set up so it's actually quite straightforward hopefully that helps somebody thanks for watching